What's up, everybody? Uh, today, today, today we've got something special. And, and by sp special, uh, it's kind of mind-blowing, mind-blowingly special. Um, we'll start with the simple one first. We've got, um, we've got this. More weird Pepsi. It's, uh, this is Pepsi Energy Cola. But, uh, so it's, it's actually much smaller than a regular can of soda. It's probably 200 milliliters is my guess. Um, I don't know. It's not written on the can. But, uh, it's like a Pepsi energy drink. I haven't actually tried it yet, so I don't know what it tastes like. Could be energy drink flavor or Pepsi flavor. I don't know. But it's uh, essentially my guess. My guess before I taste it is that it's Pepsi with uh, lots of extra caffeine. But on the bottom here, it's written uh, that uh, it includes royal, royal jelly extract, caffeine, alginine, which is something, I don't know, um, a ginseng extract, and a guarana extract. So uh, I, I imagine it's Pepsi plus those extracts. So uh, what I'm going to do first is open this, crack this open, and uh, give it a... Uh, Give it a taste, just to see if it's more Pepsi or more energy drink. Ah, uh, yeah, not what I expected. It's um, energy drink flavor, and I don't know anybody who's been in Japan and just tried an energy drink and knows the flavor. But if you haven't, and maybe if you're if you're from the U.S., maybe you'll know a candy called Smarties. And uh, essentially, energy drink, energy drink flavor is like a carbonated liquid Smarties, and <laughs> that's the flavor. Um, that's the flavor of this too. It's a energy drink flavor, I guess. I don't know. There's no other way to explain it. It's uh, I, if you like Smarties, it's good in carbonated form. But yeah, there's that, and that's not the mind blowing thing that. That's not even, like, the weirdest Pepsi I've ever had. But, um, the next, the weirdest thing here, I'm gonna pull aside here, is, is this. And, it looks, what, what am I holding up here? <laughs> yeah, if anyone who can read Japanese will know right away. But, uh, I'll tell you, this is bread in a can. No, no, really, it's, it's bread in a can. And, um, uh, the thing with this is, is, like, um, if you're from New England like I am, you might have seen bread in a can before. I know, like, you could sometimes find it at, like, camping stores, but, um, beyond that, like, you'll never see bread in a can. I've never seen it outside of really anywhere. But, uh, I, this is apparently the new, uh, Akihabara gift to bring back to people. Bread in a can. So, uh, I've, I've never tried it. But uh, this is actually like a moe o meyage no moe moe pan kan, which is like a moe moe bread can. <laughs> but it's chocolate flavor. And on the can here, it says, uh, Iyashi no amasa moeru chocolate aji, which is uh, like a refle refreshing sweetness with a uh, moeru, which is like a. Uh, this kind of love for anime characters or something, uh, chocolate flavor. I don't know what that means, actually. <laughs> in English, that makes no sense. But yes, uh, bread in a can. And uh, it's apparently soft, and uh, it's recommended to bring back to uh, people as a gift from uh, Akihabara. So it's got this Akihabara made on there. And uh, yeah, this is going to be weird much weirder than the Pepsi energy drink. So I'm going to open this up, let you guys get a look at the uh, bread in a can. Popped right open. Opened up, and I don't know if you can see, there's a silica gel, I don't know what it is. But uh, yeah, so we've got bread in a can, and I'm going to pull it out here. Ooh. Oh, it's kind of coming. It's uh. 
actually puffing up a little. Um, it's in a wrapper here. This is normal bread in a can, I guess. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm gonna unwrap this, show it to you. It smells alright, actually. Uh, um, here it is. Bread in the shape of a can. Um, I know it's it's supposed to be chocolate. It smells chocolatey, actually. But, uh, yeah, here it is. Bread in the shape, <laughs> the shape of a can at this point. But, uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give it a taste test. See how it, uh, it's kind of like a marble bread, if you can check that out. Um, so yeah, it's probably, it's soft, it's, I can't complain about that. Let me uh, give it a try here. I'll give you the my impressions of a uh, bread in a can. Okay, it's it's actually not bad. I don't um, it doesn't taste any different from like a kind of this kind of marbled chocolate bread you'd buy at a convenience store. Well, I mean, it doesn't make it good. I mean, it's not good like I made it myself at home. But it's, uh, it's passable. I mean, it's, it's good for what it is. Bread in a can. And, <laughs> so yeah, it was, uh, you know, it's, it's not bad. It's, it doesn't taste any, any different from like anything you'd buy at a convenience store, which is, uh, you know, pretty, pretty good, I think, <laughs> like comparatively for the, uh, for what it is and for ever how long it was in the, in the can. I don't even know. Um, yeah, so there you go. A can of bread. A can of bread. That's, um, something you'll probably find almost nowhere but Akihabara. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's, uh, bread in a can. <laughs>